COVID cases and hospitalizations have been on the rise in India, home to about 1.4 billion people. India currently has nearly three and a half million active cases. Containing the surge has certainly been a challenge. Today, the health ministry data shows a record 412,262 new COVID-19 cases just in the past 24 hours and a record astonishing 3,980 deaths in that same time period. For more on this, I'm joined now by Dr. Ram in Chennai, infectious disease specialist at Apollo Hospital in India there. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, doctor. As a critical care specialist in India, working with the sickest of patients, what are you seeing right now in your hospital? We are seeing an increasing number of cases. The case load has been steadily rising over the last few weeks. It started initially in Mumbai and then Delhi, and now we are seeing the cases rising up in Chennai also. And it, there is a lot of panic here in the country. People are anxious, they are worried, and they're all rushing to hospitals, even though a lot of them are stable. They are thronging to hospitals to get admitted because they are scared. Uh, why do you think that you're seeing your peak now? Because many countries, America included, really started to see things bad last summer and last spring. But it seems like there was kind of a delay there in India. India has always been lagging a few months behind Europe and the U.S. Uh, the first wave, when it happened in the U.S. in last February, March, April, in India, we saw the peak climbing up much later, starting in June or July and going up till September, October. So we were expecting there could be a second wave, which is again a little delay. And probably the relaxation of the government rules, the pandemic fatigue setting in, and maybe the new variants coming in have all added to this and resulting in this new uh, second wave here. And today, the health ministry data reported that COVID-19 infections have now surged beyond 21 million in India, and it's likely far worse with new and death cases going underreported. Medical experts say that India's actual figures could be five to 10 times the official tallies that we're seeing. How concerned are you that India is potentially losing the fight to COVID? Actually, during the first wave, India did far better than most of the countries because we were in significant lockdown. And the number of people who tested at that time were, I feel, much lower than this time. People were a little scared, worried. So the testing probably was not as robust as it is now. Now it is predominantly hitting people who are more educated, people who are a little more affluent. So the minute somebody has a sore throat or a cough, they immediately go in for a test. Tests are also more accessible, cheaper. So a far more number of tests are being done this time rather than it was done last time. So the actual number of cases this time, I feel the pickup is much, much more. And that is the reason why we are seeing such a significant increase. And hospitals, they're certainly struggling desperately to have enough beds. Communities are pleading for oxygen and there's a shortage of supplies. Uh, we've even seen medical centers turn the sick away or in some cases have two different people who are sick in the same bed. What do you believe needs to happen to get this situation under control? I think the main reason this is happening is the panic and anxiety among people. As I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of people who are rushing to hospitals, people who can be managed at home, people who want to get admitted because they are worried that they would suddenly deteriorate and die. So they are clamoring for beds. They are all clamoring for oxygen. All this is adding to the shortage of oxygen and to the beds. So I think what we need now is a little more balanced communication. And lastly, just to kind of play off of that, Dr. Ram, the upsurge in misinformation, really, I, I think kind of is, is what you're talking about in part. Uh, and, and in some cases also because of the response of the federal government refusing to impose a national lockdown, that's created distrust among some people. Uh, what are the, the growing concerns that you may be having beyond the fact that people People are, you know, have a little bit of a tickle in their throat and they go to the hospital. The, the free press has led to a phenomenal infodemic where people are bombarded with information and people tend to learn to interpret it themselves and probably wrongly too. So we need a little more balanced reporting to the press. So I think we are learning it a little late. And a country which is as large as India with 1.4 billion population, it is not an easy job to ensure that things are equitably distributed. So all that is being you know, done now. Lastly, what we learned in the first time, balancing between lives and livelihood. The lockdown created a lot of problems with people's livelihoods. So the lessons learned are now people are a little bit, they've burned their fingers. So the government is also a little cautious in how it is 
approaching. But I think we need people to be a little more balanced, understand that this too shall pass. We shall prevail, definitely. Okay, some optimism there. Dr. Ram, we thank you so much. Reporting in from Chennai, India, and your country certainly remains in our thoughts. Please stay safe. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.